Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed a makeup video in I don't even know how long so I'm not sure how this is going to go but I had the idea of recreating some trends that I've seen on Instagram. I'm not throwing any shade but every time I go on Instagram there's at least 10 girls who I follow who will post a photo with a particular hairstyle which some of you might know what I'm on about. I feel like it's just come out of nowhere even though the hairstyle has always been around. I feel like it's just become so popular recently. The last trend before this for hair I feel like was the little clips in the side with like diamantes and pearls on and now all of a sudden it's the sort of slicked side fringe into a high pony covering the bobble with your own hair and having the sort of flick at the end of the pony. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that because my hair, when it's up in a high pony, the ends are really thin. So I might do the half up, half down version. And in terms of makeup, everyone and their mum now has fluffy eyebrows. I spoke about this in a recent video. As you can see, my eyebrows are quite thin. I can brush them up and make them fluffy. But I've never really had them like that when I've done my makeup. So I'm going to be trying that. I do have the eyebrow soap. You can use normal soap but I bought it a while ago. So we'll see what that's like. And finally I've been seeing lots of people doing a sort of winged out eyeshadow look. Which again I know has been around for ages. But just recently on Instagram. Not every girl but lots of girls are posting selfies with this lovely smoked out winged out eyeliner their nice fluffy brows and then their new hairstyle. So I'm going to be trying all three of those today. I might look like a clown and like I said, not only have I not filmed a makeup video in ages, I haven't even worn makeup in ages. Even in my vlogs at the moment, I haven't even bothered putting makeup on. So yeah, let's get started. That's enough rambling. I hope you enjoy this video. We'll see what happens. This isn't a proper tutorial because obviously I'm not a makeup artist and I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to do your makeup. I'm just going to have a little play around. So I've got this little sample size of the MAC Strobe Cream. I need to use this up because I've had it for a while. So I'm going to pop some of this on. I've been in need of a new foundation for ages now. Because all of the foundations I have are for when I have a tan. Like my summer skin tone. And I haven't left the house. So I don't have a tan. So if this looks quite orange... And like it's not my skin tone, it's because it's not. I'm quite pale at the moment, but I'll just have to make it work. Because it's all I've got right now. Literally, look how dark that is. Yeah, I look severely orange right now. Okay, I'm now going to attempt to cream contour with the NYX concealer. I just got it in a darker shade. It always looks really scary when I first put it on but you can just keep blending it out. And then to lighten everything and hopefully sort out some of this orangeness I'm going to go in with my concealer. And I'm just going to take the same brush that I used for my foundation. No, I'm not because I just put the cream contour on it. It looks crazy right now, but I promise it all works out in the end. Well, I hope. I love blending my under eyes out with a brush. I always used to use my sponge, but sometimes I feel like it takes the product away, whereas this just packs it all on, which is good if you want a really full coverage under eye. And then I just merge the concealer with the cream contour because everything's still not wet, but like tacky at the moment. I've set my under eye and my chin, and now I'm gonna set the cream contour with my bronzer. You don't have to be too precise with it I find anyway because loose powder is so good for just cleaning up any edges and any harsh lines so I just whack the bronzer on and then I just cut my cheek like that I don't really need to bake in this area because 
luckily I don't get very oily if anything it's more dry so I just lightly set that okay so for the eyebrows the soap brows the fluffy brows whatever you want to call them oh I've got this which is actually called soap brows I got it off Beauty Bay it just looks like that and I just spray my eyebrow brush which is already quite gross with some facial spray you can use anything like anything just to make it wet and then I rub it around in here to get some of the product then once I've got enough I will just comb it through my eyebrows sticking them up to make them look more fluffy now I haven't groomed or tweezed my eyebrows in ages so you will notice these hairs will be quite long and I'll have to just push them back down but the good thing about the soap is you can keep sort of playing with it until it's fully dry so you have got enough time to sort of perfect the shape that you want I don't want them to be too fluffy just a bit thicker than usual it really helps on the tail of your eyebrow if you don't have as much hair as the front which is the case with my eyebrows so there we go it's quite a subtle difference but you can definitely tell the difference in the hairs compared to this eyebrow here I always feel like I'm doing drag when I put the soap on you know when they put the glue stick on their eyebrows and then set it so I'll do the same on the other eyebrow and then I'll be back okay now they're both done and I'm looking a little crazy I'm gonna take some eyebrow powder on an angled brush I'm just gonna get a light brown brow powder and fill in any gaps because where I brush the hair up you can see the sparse areas so normally when I'm filling in my eyebrows I would just do a line underneath so that's what I'm going to avoid just so they stay looking full and fluffy as opposed to really defined and carved out you don't have to fill them in especially if you've got quite thick eyebrows anyway but I don't so I'm just going in with a light hand also just helps with the colour as well make them stand out a little bit more not that they really need to this eyebrow is so much better that always happens but what can you do I am going to take just a bit of concealer to carve them out okay for my eyeshadow I'm going to leave the powder under here just to catch anything obviously you can do your eyeshadow first if you're worried about it going on your face but this should help to keep quite a sharp line so I'm going to run some bronzer all through my crease and all over my eyelid just as like a base colour with quite a big fluffy brush and if you try and keep the outer corner quite high it'll help with the angled look not that I really know what I'm talking about but I think that's right that's just going to give the other colours something to blend into and then I'll do the same on the other eye again sort of flicking it out at the end I've seen lots of people dragging it literally right out into the temple don't think I'm going to do that but I will still drag it out a little bit I'm just going for like a wash of colour all over the lid for the fake sort of eyeshadow wing I'm going to take a very dark brown eyeshadow on another angled brush and just create the shape first and it's up to you how angled you do it if you want to do it upwards if you want to do it straight I'm just gonna try and follow the line of that powder and then bring it back in on itself but again you don't have to be neat because we're just gonna blend all this out and into one smoky mess I used to do this all the time because I'm really bad at eyeliner as you can see with the shape but with eyeshadow you can get away with it a little bit more because it's not a black line or if you just want to practice eyeliner then you can start with eyeshadow and get used to drawing what line suits your eye shape okay so I'm now going to repeat that on the other eye it's not very good but like I said I haven't done makeup for a while prime example and getting them even honestly I don't even bother like I literally have no chance I'm then gonna take a brush 
that's slightly thicker than the angled brush but not a blending brush. And I'm just going to take a different shade of brown that's different to both of these and blend it over the top. I'm not going to drag it right out to the end just because it'll be harder to get quite a precise line with this brush. But I'm just using enough so that I can blend out the brown that I just put down. Sort of like that, I hope you can see it. Like I said, my lighting is terrible. And then if you end up losing your original line, you can just go back in with the darker brown and redefine it. And then I'm going to take the bronzer that I started with just to merge the wing into the base colour that I first put down. And like I said, you can wing this out as much as you want if you want to take it into your temple. It does look really nice. I just am not confident even doing this, never mind winging it right out. Okay, so this is what I'm dealing with. It's not perfect by any means, but I do quite like it. I'm going to pop some eyelashes on and hopefully it looks a little bit better. Okay, lashes are on. I mean, I could have not worn any lashes because now you just can't see the eyeshadow. But I'm going to wipe away all of this powder. And then I'm just putting the browns that I used on top underneath. My lower lash line. I'm now just putting mascara on my bottom eyelashes. Then, because I've seen lots of people doing this, I'm going to go over my beauty spots or my moles. I'd rather say beauty spots. Just with some brown eyeshadow. Because they do get lost underneath the foundation. to contour my nose so I'm just running some bronzer down either side. I'll just do my lips using a nude lip liner and lipstick and then I'll be back to do my hair. Okay so here's the finished makeup look. I forgot how long it takes me to do my makeup and also how much mess it makes. I've literally done this to sit in the house all day. Obviously I filmed a video but what a wasted look you know. I don't think the eyebrows look too bad. I never thought I'd like more of a fluffy brow, but I think it looks quite natural. I mean, I have seen some people whose eyebrow hairs are so long and they still brush them up and it literally covers like this much of their forehead. I don't think I'd take it that far, each to their own, but I think this is more subtle. I do like the eyes. I just think the eyelashes are too big. I should have just done mascara and the rest of my makeup is pretty much the same. I love this lip combo. I think I'm going to do a video all about my favourite lip liner and lipstick combos because I wear the same few every time I do my makeup and I love them. I think they suit my skin tone and they suit the rest of my makeup. Oh my god, every girl in my school looked like this in like year nine. That's what this hairstyle reminds me of. Like I literally used to get my fringe and clip it to the side like this. So I'm going to section off some of my hair. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing the ponytail because the ends of my hair go quite thin when they're up high. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. I literally feel like a brat stall. Just take as much hair as you want, we'll sort that out in a minute. But for my half up, half down, I don't come right by here because when that part of my hair is back, I don't think it suits my face. So I've come like halfway between the top of my head and my ear and then I'm going to pop this half up quite high on my head. Okay, love that for me. For this fringe situation, as you can see, my hair is quite wispy at the front. So I did have some hairspray somewhere. I'm going to hairspray underneath just for some texture. It's up to you whether you pull it down onto your forehead or if you put it straight across. I think I'm going to leave it like this. And then I'm just going to clip it where it's hidden. I was going to wrap a piece of hair around to cover the bobble, but my camera's about to die. I haven't done it as sleek as I've seen on Instagram, but honestly, if I do anything too sleek and pushed back, I feel like my face and my head just looks absolutely massive and ridiculous. So this is as sleek as I'm going to go. 
I wish I could wear the ponytail because I love seeing girls on nights out who do really nice high ponytails and updos. I'm just very boring and very set in my ways and I always have to have my hair just down. I am quite enjoying this hairstyle though. It's not too out of the ordinary for me because I do wear half up half down when I'm just chilling around the house. But I never do this with the fringe, I sort of leave it down. I think it looks quite nice, what do we think? My hair looks very dark and I'm not sure why. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope if you followed along you've been able to transform yourself into every girl you see on Instagram. Obviously take that with a pinch of salt, I'm only joking. I just picked up these trends and I wanted to recreate them. I think it turns out quite nice. I literally feel like I'm living my Yasmin from Bratz fantasy right now. So I hope you enjoyed watching and if you want to see any more videos like this or this certain looks you want me to recreate then please let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.